During the surgical procedure, Neuralink's R1 robot was used to insert 64 threads into the outer layer of the brain, the cerebral cortex, and specifically, this is targeted into the motor cortex region of the brain, penetrating just a few millimeters deep into the tissue. Each thread is thinner than a human hair and carries 16 electrode sensors, giving the Link device a total of over 1,000 connection points into the neural network of Nolan's brain. From here, the electrodes can detect bioelectric pulses created by neuron activation within the cortex layer. The Link device uses signals collected by the threads to create a digital representation of the brain activity that can be transmitted via Bluetooth into a nearby computer device. So when the threads retracted from the brain, that decreased the number of electrode interfaces between the link implant and the motor cortex. So losing one thread would be a 1.5% reduction in electrode count. Losing just three threads would be nearly a 5% reduction in brain connection. We can see the effect of this in Neuralink's own data charts. Starting late in February, the performance of the BCI started to drop off. We can see that Nolan goes from 8 BPS down to 5, then 4, and as low as 3 BPS by mid-March. But then the number recovers again quickly. Nolan bounces back to 6 BPS by around the same time period that Neuralink released the first live stream he was featured in on March 20th, where we saw Nolan able to play chess on the stream with his mind. Neuralink explains this by saying that they honed the algorithm to make better use of the limited data being collected from the brain, and we can see that Nolan is quickly back to his original performance of 8 BPS.